Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Here behind me we have this beautiful equation to solve. And then uh, the purpose of this video is to see how we do justice to this uh, particular problem. So let's go ahead and see how we solve it. So first we have a solution. Then I bring down the equation a minus 4 to the power of 4 equal to a to the power of 4. Because our aim is to find the value of a. So, what I'm going to do is to transfer a minus a to the power of minus 4 to the left. So, I have a minus 4 all to the power of 4 minus a to the power of 4. Because having moved this to the left, everything equal to 0. So, next is to rewrite this using this law. If I have a to the power of m, n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, which is the same as a to the power of n all to the power of n. So, I'm going to apply this law, this exponential rule, to both terms of this equation. And so, we are going to get a minus 4 to the power of 2 all to the power of 2 minus a to the power of 2 now all to the power of 2 equal to 0. Of course, 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4. Alright. So, I'm applying also another, another uh, very powerful law, an algebraic identity. Now, if I have 8, if I have um, m squared minus n squared, this is difference of 2 squared, just like we have noticed it. Uh, we have noticed it in the question. So, m squared minus n squared is simply m plus n multiplied by m minus n. And of course here, m is serving as a minus 4 squared, and then n is, is simply a squared. So, applying this law to this, so we're going to get uh, the equation now to become a minus 4 squared plus a squared, right? Then all of this will be put in a square times a minus 4 squared minus a squared equal to 0. Alright. So now I'm going to further simplify this. If we simplify this further, we are going to get uh, a squared minus 8a plus 16, then of course plus a squared, all in brackets. Same way, this gives a squared minus 8a plus 16, okay, minus a squared equal to 0, right? And then from here, a squared plus a squared will give us 2a squared minus 8a plus 16 times a squared minus a squared will simply give us 0 and then we are left with minus 8a plus 16 equal to 0. So this is now product of two factors. So if we have a dot b to be equal to 0, this implies a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. So applying this to this, we are going to have it that 2a squared minus 8a plus 16 equal to 0 or minus 8a plus 16 equal to 0. All right. Now, if we look at this, we can further reduce these two uh, equations. So if we divide this by 2, this is going to give us um, a squared minus 4a plus 8 equal to 0. And we also divide by 2. This will give us minus 4a plus 8 equal to 0. Alright, so taking it up from there. If we take the first... Uh, okay, let's quickly dispatch with this. So we have minus 4a 
plus 8 equal to 0. So we have minus 4a equal to minus 8. So dividing both sides by minus 4, we are going to get a to be equal to 2. So that's for the second, uh, this particular one. Now if we come over to this, we have that a squared minus 4a plus 8 equal to 0. And then from there, we're going to get, uh, this is quadratic. And so, from the look of things, it doesn't look like this has linear factors. So, what I'm going to do is to use the quadratic formula, because we know what that is. a equal to minus b plus or minus, okay, yes, we have to solve this, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So, where a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4, and then c equal to 8. So, we have a will be equal to uh, minus, minus 4, all right? Plus or minus, minus 4 square, minus 4 times 1, times 8, all over 2 times 1. All right, so from here we have a, So, moving over to this end, we have a equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 32 all over 2. So, a will be equal to 4 plus or minus square root of minus 16 all over 2. Alright, so we have a to be equal to 4 plus or minus, I'm going to split up minus 16, square root of minus 16 to square root of 16 times minus 1. Okay, so all over 2, and so a will be 4 plus or minus square root of um, square root of 16 times square root of minus 1 all over 2. So we have a will be equal to 4 plus or minus a okay, 4. Of course, square root of minus 1 is i right. So we replace square root of minus 1 with i over 2. So this will further become if we divide this by 2, so we are going to get 2 plus or minus 2i. Therefore, so this therefore means that a equal to 2 plus 2i or a equal to 2 minus 2i. Right. So, that's what we have right there. And then, of course, I will see you in my next class, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to like don't forget to share my video comment and of course if you are yet to subscribe i urge you to do so thank you i'll see you in my next video